All right, Edmonton, Illinois, it's Jason here once again, now with part two on the summer enhancements that are coming to Exact Path. And the theme today is all around learner engagement. If you haven't watched part one, uh, where we're talking about our assessments within Exact Path and how we are working toward creating a balanced assessment system, definitely check out part one here on the YouTube channel. Just again, a quick review of where we've been within Exact Path. Over the last 12 months, we've really focused on grade level proficiency, giving you an additional piece of data so that you can uh, compare growth, uh, friendly color coding that's in there so that you can very quickly and easily see when you're using our diagnostics, um, grade level proficiency uh, within those diagnostics. We have released, created and released, um, in introduced 50 lesson modules for our youngest K2 learners. And again, with the idea of increasing engagement, making sure that it's interesting, eye appealing, animated for our youngest learners. We continue to have this relationship with reflection sciences around executive functioning. We have an assessment that's available within Exact Path around executive functioning, and we're working with them to make sure that our activities are really aligned to social and emotional learning uh, standards. We continue to be um, a partner with NWEA, and we um, have uh, released API integration, which is a fancy way of saying that as soon, as soon as students take that MAP assessment, their RIT scores can now be directly uploaded within to exact path uh, so that kids can start working on their learning paths um, almost automatically. And we've um, improved the admin dashboard. Uh, once again, uh, two themes within exact path for our release here for the summer. Uh, the first one around robust assessments, that's on the other video that I was just talking about. And then this one, we're talking about learner engagement, making sure that we're um, uh, creating a situation where the kids can make uh, gains and progress uh, within their uh, individualized uh, learning paths. You're also going to see uh, some updates to the interfaces, uh, the three different interfaces that we have for the different grade bands worth of students. We are simplifying the learning path experience for all of our students. And this is based on feedback that we've received from educators across the country, across the world, really, specific around this idea of kids maybe spinning their wheels a little bit. Originally, kids would get four skills at a time, which was great for student choice, student autonomy, but at the same time, um, kids would not see that natural progression. They wouldn't necessarily know what to do next in order to unlock that progress check, pass that progress check, and then unlock the next set of skills, or I should say lessons connected to the skills, connected to the standards. So uh, for this coming fall, we are moving to one skill at a time, which really goes along nicely with our research. Remember our research suggests that eight, suggests that eight skills mastered is what leads to that positive, significant growth on that benchmark assessment, whether it's our diagnostics that you're using in exact path, or it's RENSTAR, or it's NWEA MAP. So again, uh, students are gonna get one skill at a time in reading, one skill at a time in math, one skill at a time in language arts. You get the lesson, you get the practice, and then you get that really quick progress check. It's only gonna be five questions, and the kids are gonna be able to earn those trophies very, very quickly. We think, again, that you're really gonna love this. You're gonna get, uh, the kids are gonna get a uh, 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 much more immediate feedback on how they are doing. They're going to be able to earn those trophies much more quickly. They're getting those five question progress checks instead of the 20 question progress checks. Teachers are going to get data more quickly. That's going to allow them to group their students based on progress within their learning path. You can supercharge those challenges, those badge challenges. If you have grade level challenges or if you're um, challenging a uh, neighboring classroom to a friendly competition, or maybe the uh, building principal is, is is having a trophy challenge with an exact path, you really can be able to supercharge those because again, one skill at a time uh, within each student's learning path. Uh, the K2, the, um, the landing pages, um, the navigation, um, the interfaces for K2, for 3-5, for uh, 6 through 12, um, they are going to be improved. They are going to be enhanced. For our youngest students who are using Exact Path, the K2 learner interface is going to be simplified. Um, and uh, the kids are actually going to be able to see that path as they're working toward that trophy. On the three through five side, uh, again, we're creating that simpler learning path experience for our older elementary students. Uh, we want to make sure that 
Um, the tutorials, the practice ses sets, um, the assessment items are all very uh, quickly able to be seen. And uh, we are creating uh, more new content using our Nebula characters. Remember, we have those animated characters that, that maybe you uh, were used to from our Education City uh, program that you've seen in years past. Uh, that's really for those K2 learners. We get some of that in three through five too, but we're creating more content using these Nebula characters that are up here on the screen right now for grades three through five. And we're continuing for our older students uh, to create more uh, content that has uh, that graphic novel feel, feel to it. Uh, we've simplified, we've updated, uh, we're going to um, empower our secondary learners who are in exact path. We're really going to make sure that uh, there's less scrolling for the students so that they know exactly uh, what is expected of them. Uh, so those are just some uh, uh, previews of what um, the experience might look like for the students. Uh, those are some of the enhancements that are coming to exact path uh, this coming summer that are uh, around learner engagement. Again, if you have access to exact path right now, if you have any questions, if you want to talk through some of these enhancements that are coming this summer, please reach out to me. Happy to help you in any way. If you are new to exact path and you want to think a little bit about how it might accelerate the learning for your students, maybe connected to your RTI or your MTSS program, again, uh, we're here to help. So please reach out at any time. Happy to talk with you. Thank you very much for your time and your attention to this video today. Have a great one.